ladies and gentlemen, thank you, Minister, for your kind words. Um, it's a huge privilege to be addressing you all this afternoon. The overseas territories and your people are an integral part of Britain's life and history, and it's wonderful to see so many of you here today. Together, you all represent some of the most remote communities in the world, some of the most resilient and some of the most ecologically diverse, with species and environments found nowhere else on Earth. Each territory is unique, each history is different, but we share a common bond that connects us across vast swathes of ocean. Despite the relatively small size of the overseas territories, I have seen plenty of evidence for a tremendous positive impact on the world. Let me touch on one area in particular, the impressive way you're working to tackle climate change and protect your unique biodiversity. You are all on the front line. Your contributions to global emissions are negligible, and yet you face the dire consequences of rising sea levels, changing weather patterns, and the destruction of coral reefs. Climate change is threatening the very survival of the territories, your ways of life, and the future of all your people. I'm pleased that the overseas territories were represented at COP26, and you were able to voice not only your concerns, but also your efforts to tackle the immense problems that you face. So as we look forward to opening nominations soon for next year's Earthshot Prize, I hope very much to see solutions from the overseas territories in contention. I'd like to end by thanking you all for your, everything you're doing to make a difference to the people of the overseas territories and for the work you're doing to protect the environment for this generation and the generations to come. Thank you.